Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Milani just released two new eyeshadow palettes and I'm gonna be doing two videos on them. This one is gonna be on the Pure Passion palette and I'm gonna be doing this look. We're doing kind of a goldy red winged out shadow look with this guy. This palette is seriously amazing. All the Milani eyeshadow palettes are so good. I only just started using them like a month ago and I'm blown away. If you guys haven't tried them, you definitely should. Anyways, like I just said, this just launched along with the Soft and Sultry palette and this is beautiful. It's got like really warm tones if you guys like those, nice mix of shimmers and mattes. So I'm gonna be doing a look with this, showing you guys some swatches. Here those babies are. These swatch beautifully. Honestly, I have the Gilded Desires palette too, and that was the first time I had tried Milani eyeshadows, and they are just so good. Like, they perform like a high-end eyeshadow. I can't believe I haven't tried them sooner than now, but you know what? I'm catching up. So I'm starting out by taking Always Pink of Me, and it's a really nice light matte pink. Taking this on a sugar pill blending brush, and I'm just gonna use this as a transition shade. I hadn't used this palette yet, so I wasn't sure what shades were perfect for the transition or anything, but this one's actually really good. It's not as light and washed out as it looks in the palette. It actually does have some nice depth to it. Now to deepen that up, I'm taking this matte brownish shade. It's called Totally Fawn of You. Taking it on a smaller blending brush by Moda. I'm just gonna use this to deepen up that crease because I wanted it a little bit darker. And this is where I'm also gonna start winging it out past my lash line to create that winged effect. I know some people are a little bit annoyed at the fact that these palettes are $20, but honestly, it is so worth it to me. I know that's kind of expensive for like a drugstore eyeshadow palette, but when you look at it and when you use it, it's obvious that it's such a better quality than like other eyeshadow palettes that you could find in the drugstore. It's really great, it looks beautiful, wears beautifully, it's just amazing. So anyways, gonna move on to the actual winged portion and I'm taking Late Date, which is this dark plummy red brown. Taking this on a little angled brow brush and I'm just gonna use this to map out that wing. I'm also bringing this across into the crease and then using a little packing brush to pack on that color about a fourth of the way onto the lid. So moving on, I'm actually gonna take some really light concealer and I'm gonna carve out my crease. Do like a cut crease type thing. Not gonna go all the way over, I'm just gonna stop it like half a centimeter before that shade that we just put down on the outer corner. Moving on to this shade right here, which is Biggest Flirt. This is my favorite shade in the palette. It is so freaking pretty. Look at how gorgeous that is. I am obviously in love with this palette. You guys, have you noticed that yet? Anyways, it applies really beautifully. I did wet the brush to make it more foiled and then ultimately I went in when all was said and done and applied on there and I just packed a little bit more on with my finger just to make it a little more intense. And I am making sure to get it right up to the top of that concealer because you don't want a weird like concealer line in between the crease color and the lid color. I did get a little bit of fallout with this shade when applying it with my finger, so that's just something to note, I suppose. Moving on to the next shade, this one up here is called Afterglow. I'm taking this on a dry brush because I wanted to see what this shadow was like without wetting it. It's okay, but I definitely do prefer these shimmery or foiled shadows with a wet brush, so that's what I did. I just went ahead and wet that brush and started applying that and blending it in with that pinkish red shade. Next up, I'm taking Heat Is On, which is a slightly lighter matte than what we have going on in the wing area. I'm just gonna use this to try to blend out that darker shade into the pink on the lid. Then moving on to the lower lash line, I'm gonna take Totally Fawn of You, which is one of those transition shades that we used, and I'm just gonna blend this across the entire lower lash line with a little Marc Jacobs smudgy brush. And then taking a small blending brush and just blending that out so it's a little bit more diffused. And then going back in with Late Date, which is that darkest shade, and I'm just gonna apply this in the outer half or so of the lower lash line just to darken it up and make sure it connects with that wing shape. And then for the inner corner highlight, I wasn't really sure what to use, so I just went in with Truth or Bear, and I tried that. But you know what? My biggest issue with this palette is that there's not really an inner corner highlight shade that works for me, so I just ended up using my highlight that I used on my face as an inner corner highlight. But that's not that big of a deal to me. Anyways, that is it for the look. I hope you guys liked this one. If you want to check out my look on the Soft and Sultry palette, I will link that down below. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!